You know, one of the things I've found over the years when uh, every time I travel is people are <laughs> um, are honored to be with me because I'm a mathematician. Somehow they think I'm smarter than them because of the fact that I have a math credential. This is really interesting to me. If I'm in a plane and somebody's sitting in the middle and I'm sitting on one side of them as a mathematician and, you know, the world's greatest uh, uh, Nobel laureate poet who's on the other side or or one of the most amazing artists who exists in the world today sitting on the other side. People usually it feels like turns to them and say, oh, you're an artist. It's great, but this is a mathematician. You know, he really understands what it means to be smart. Uh, no matter how smart you are, he really gets it. And they use smart like with a capital S, right? You know, somehow I have the full truth with a capital T in my hand. And, uh, and I find that really dangerous. I think, you know, having grown up in India, there's a spectrum of how smart somebody is. And I thought it was an Indian thing till I came to the States and I realized it's the same thing everywhere. You know, on one side is a mathematician and then and the next to them are the physicists and the biologists and the chemists. And, and then over here, the sort of the social scientists, right? They're sciencey, but not really, you know, economists, uh, psychology. And, and then you get into historians and, and eventually you get into uh, linguistic scholars and languages and way over on the other side are the artists. And most students think, oh, I'm not a scientist. I don't think this way. I'm not this smart. So I'm actually going to be on the art side. I think that spectrum is universal. But at the same time, the spectrum hides something. It hides the level of complexity. I think to me, the mathematician is really productive and it's really good and it has great output is because she is dealing with something that's not complicated. You know, the fact that you have something called a quadratic formula means that a formula can answer whatever you're thinking about. I mean, it's crazy, right? If I'm talking to my wife and I realize that she's not happy with how I acted the day before, there's no wife formula to plug in because to hang out with another human, to deal with them as a person, to love them, to forgive them, to take care of them as a human is far more complicated than a formula or an equation. So what do we do as math, right? We just, we take an idea of beer, complicated as it could be, about the smell of a beer, about the taste of a beer, about the social construct of what it means to be human and drink a beer, and we boil it down into about 20 variables, and then we say, oh, here's the family tree of beer. But that's a pathetically silly slice of the complication of what beer really is. I think what happens as you move down the spectrum is you're dealing with things that get more and more complicated, and thus you can't say that much about it. A historian is dealing with a far harder question than a mathematician. They can't answer it uh, in an easy way because the question's harder, right? They can't, they can't nail it down as simple as we can because there's no formula for it. They have their own tools of measuring truth and their own tools of me measuring smartness, but, but the thing they're asking is a complicated thing. And an artist is actually <laughs> trying to describe things that can't even be expressed in words. In fact, they need images to even get to the kind of things that we can speak in English. And in math and physics, we can speak it in formulas. So that's triviality. You know, I always say that we can put somebody on the moon because putting somebody on the moon is easy. We can't solve race relations, not because the people who study race are not smart, but, but studying race relations is incredibly hard. It's really hard to talk about equality of men and women in the world today and, and the Me Too movement that's pushing ahead because those are incredibly hard questions for us to wrestle with. And how do you bring justice in the world today that people are struggling with?